A potential delay in Montana's $80 million bonding construction program and the disputed audit behind it was a hot topic of discussion today. The legislative office in charge of the audit spoke publicly for the first time and state lawmakers also weighed in. MTN's Mike Dennison has more. The audit, which is not yet complete, reportedly says the state's Medicaid program has eligibility problems and could have to repay the federal government $150 million. Last week, the Bullock administration said that's not true. And they said they've had to delay the construction bond sale because that information could make the bonds more expensive to investors. Legislative Auditor Angus McKeever told a committee Monday that strict rules simply prevent him from discussing an audit before it's complete. While, while I know that in the attention and media-driven environment that we live in now that uh, us not commenting on things is not, all, is not always popular and it is, doesn't always meet with people's expectations, there are very important reasons why that doesn't occur. That explanation didn't sit well with some committee Democrats who said the audit didn't examine what the state actually does on Medicaid eligibility. And it is beyond my comprehension how you take that approach instead of what was agreed upon by the federal government in the state of Montana in terms of eligibility, and you prioritize that. McKeever said his office or the audit isn't forcing the governor's office to change its bonding decision. But the governor's office said the Medicaid liability ID by the audit must be disclosed and therefore needlessly impact bond sales. The final audit won't be discussed until an April meeting of the Legislative Audit Committee. The committee chair, Senator D. Brown of Hungry Horse, said she doesn't think it's that big of a deal. Nobody needs to, like, jump off the roof or anything. The buildings are going to be built, the highways are going to be tarred, the streets are going to be finished, and Montana is going to be better for it. I, I don't, this is a little bump in the road. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. The $80 million in bonding projects include water and sewer projects, bridges, and state buildings on college campuses.